Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video and a brand new backdrop, so it seems. I know my regular subscribers are sick to death of me hearing me say this, but for those of you that are new, because we're getting new subscribers all the time, I'm truly grateful for you all being here, but to those of you that are new and might not be aware, we are doing a renovation on the vlogs, so you can follow along on that if you want, but if you're just here for the Donnell video, then you'll wonder why I'm saying we've got a new backdrop. That's the reason we've got a new backdrop, discovering new backdrops all the time in this house, and yeah, I'm loving this new fireplace. The rest of the room is not finished. We're in a, basically an empty room. <laughs> we're a sofa plonked in the middle, no floor down, no skirting boards, but this little backdrop is working for us, isn't it? Anyway, without wittering on, we are here for a Dunelm shop with me. We've not done one for quite some time, so we're gonna go in store, see if there's anything new in store. I'm also looking for a few bits. I'm looking for like cereal bowls, some little side plates. I'm also looking for some bathroom bits and bobs because, you know, we're on with the cloakroom downstairs in the renovation. So I'm looking for like hand towels, maybe some a bathroom mirror. And we're just gonna see what's in store. We might not find what we're looking for, but we're just gonna go anyway. I really like to do that. I like to go around all the shops. I like to clock things specifically for what I'm looking for and then I'll go and get my favourite thing. So um, probably do more of these coming up, you guys. I'm thinking the range as well, so. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> More shop with me. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to wish on anymore. Let's just get going, shall we? <laughs> section and I just think Dunelm does bedding better than any other store. If there's any other store that you feel like is better than Dunelm for bedding, pop it in the comments down below because I'd love to hear it in case there's something I haven't seen or spotted or found yet. <laughs> but yeah, Dunelm is my favourite for bedding. This set is gorgeous. I'm really into this Tol de Jouy print. Now, you can overdo it with prints, can't you? So I'm very aware that it's uh, niche. Maybe I should just stick to just plain bedding. I've just found these wallpapers here. How nice. Look at that vintage B one. This is absolutely gorgeous. With the gold and the navy. How nice are they, those colours? You know, for an office or like a library room, that would be absolutely lovely. And then down here, they've got this classic blue tall de Jouy style and it's like fine china in the blue moving on we have the hotel collection bedding which I prefer the most out of all the bedding available on the market I just feel like it's really 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 looks I think it's like 250 count thread which makes it feel really really looks and yeah, they've got all different sizes and patterns. I prefer these Oxford size pillows, which are much cheaper than the general ones, which is very strange. Usually it's the other way around. So, there's meant to be a sale on at Dunelm and it doesn't look like it from the bed in here, but I might just pop online and see when this sale is meant to be here. I'll pop it on the screen, guys, when the sale is, so that you know when to shop, because if you're looking to invest in bedding and all of this good stuff, it's better to get it all when it's in the sale. That's what we did with the bed that we've got at the moment. I've never seen these before, eucalyptus pillow protectors. Now it's saying they last up to 10 washes, so I'm guessing they've been treated with eucalyptus and lavender, but you could do that yourself with essential oils, making sure, obviously, if you're pregnant, making sure you can use them and you're not allergic to things like that, obviously. But yeah, I've never seen these before. So they're from about eight pounds. Oh my God, you guys, this is stunning, gorgeous lace pillows the only thing is it's in this rose color which is beautiful it's like a dusky rose color but they don't do it in a neutral color if they did i would totally buy that look at the bedspread that is absolutely stunning 
So we are on to the Halloween reed diffusers, Halloween <laughs> seasonal reed diffusers. And there's a bit of Halloween on here as well. So we've got these reed diffusers. These are quite nice, quite large as well. Very seasonal scents. Right, let me just bob you around and have a sniff at these. One is apple and cinnamon. Oh, that's really sickly sweet. You know when you're in home sense and you get one of the really sickly candles. Yeah, that's that. So they've got these twig trees for £12. Normally these are quite expensive. It is only six centimetres tall though. And we've got these jack-o'-lanterns, which are quite cute, at £10. They're in the white and the black. And then we've got more Halloween decorations, these like honeycomb bats, which are quite cute for four pounds. And then, yeah, they're trying to get rid of these Halloween decorations, I'm guessing, because we're approaching the date. They've definitely moved on to the C word in this store, but we're gonna avoid it until at least November time, guys. So we will be back here for the C word then. But yeah, I love the bats. I think they're really classy if you're decorating for Halloween as an adult. And obviously, they've got all the kiddies' things as well. Um, very novelty, but obviously, the kids love this kind of stuff. So it's all fun and games when you've got little ones, isn't it? And then they've got this little pumpkin, which is plastic, so not for me. <laughs> Eight pounds. So, bedding again, <laughs> we're going around in circles, it's a bit mix and match in this store, I saw this last time, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, it's like a velvet forest green bedspread, I'm actually looking for a bedspread in particular, or a big knitted throw of some kind. So, I know we we're going to avoid the C word, but I'm going to show you a few gift ideas, because these gifts are all year round, aren't they, they're not just for Christmas. They've got all the chutneys and the kitchen gift sets. If anybody's into cooking, these are brilliant gifts to be had. Look at the size of this salt grinder. Oh my God, that would look gorgeous on my kitchen island. And then they've got this one. What is this? Bread mix. A bread board of some sort i suppose you could use it as a serving board of any kind these are interesting i've never had bayo buns is that what you call them bio buns bayo buns bayo bun set like what is that so you've got these contraptions i have no clue guys what to do with this but i'm interested in it because curiosity killed the cat i've never even tried one of these i've heard about them though 15 pounds and then we've got these serving boards for £16, serving platter. This is in the wood, which I find really, really nice. I've just bought one, I have an eye from Timu, and it's washable, and you can put it in the fridge, so I don't need another one. Then they've got this dish. This is really nice for snacks. I just love serveware, to be honest with you. That's £22. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at this dome. This, like, cheese cloche set. 15 pounds, glass cheese cloth, cloth set, dumb, and it comes with the cheese knives, a little bit of cheese and some chutney, what a gorgeous gift, oh my god I love that, and then they've even got these chutneys, classic piccalilli, my nanny used to make us piccalilli and cheese sandwiches, <laughs> we've got some sweet apple chutney and we've got some caramelised onion chutney, look at the tops, adorable. And then they've got these guys, like I thought I was in B&M for a second. I've got these for my Christmas table scape, but I got mine from B&M Bargains. But I tell you what, they didn't have in B&M Bargains. They didn't have the uh, coasters. They've got the matching coasters here for eight pounds as well. Although I don't think, I think it's too much stars if you do the coasters as well. I'm just gonna show you quickly the Christmas dying to go in there because it's there but we're gonna hold off until november so make sure you check back in with me then and we'll do all the c word things together they've got these robes this teal green is really really plush 25 pounds they're marketed towards men but i'm sure anyone can wear them checked robe i do love a robe 
these towels are absolutely stunning again i think dunelm do towels really really well and yeah they've got some gorgeous um styles of towels the guest towels are eight, seven pounds i'm actually looking for one for my downstairs cloakroom maybe a couple so they've got these mirrors we saw these last time didn't we hi <laughs> and these are 17 pounds and again 17 pounds is just too expensive for that that kind of a small mirror we've got marble bathroom accessories i'm not sure what i'm going to put in the bathroom downstairs you guys they do dormer products since when i've never tried them if you've tried the dormer products leave it in the comments are they worth it like are they good loads of marble for the bathroom not sure again what i'm going to do with the bathroom but they've got this towel rail set with the cane detail which is really really nice if you're into that cane style they've got these neck heatable pads for 10 pounds if you've got issues with your neck <laughs> they've got more microwavable slippers brilliant if you've got cold feet and then what the hell is this toothpaste squeezer because we can't squeeze our own toothpaste can we so we've got towels more towels these are gorgeous look at the quilted not quilted it's more almost like pleated towels which are gorgeous look at this green color what is the price on these i can't seem to see a price they've got them in the gray as well where is the price guys i'm sorry there's no prices on these but i'm sure they'll have them on the website this mirror is absolutely stunning. Imagine this on an island. If you've got an island in your dressing room, imagine this mirror. Beautiful. The only thing is it's silver, but at least it's vintage silver. Run to, run to Dunelm, guys. So we've got these carved woodland creatures. We've got a fox and a little family. And then we've got this squirrel, <laughs> this weevil. Oh, they're so cute. I love all the forest animals. So this is in the um, where you get the curtains made to measure section. And there's some treasure to be had around here, guys. Look at these different style doorknobs. They've got a plethora of different style doorknobs. If you're looking to change anything out and uh, create a bit more of a bespoke look, these are stunning. Look at these for £6. Set of two. So if you're looking to upcycle any bedside tables... These are very vintage, love them. And yeah, just, oh, look at them. They look like eyeballs. They look like eyeballs. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Oh, there's a company on Instagram called Brass Bees and they make door knobs and other things that you want for your house, like door numbers and they have these bees and it's exactly what it says on the tin but uh these are 15 pounds they also have door knockers dragonflies as well then we've got some stick on tiles these are great guys if you live in a rental property and you're looking to like just stick over the tiles just for um temporary then these are great they've got the victorian style patterns geometric black which is quite suave and then they've got these ones these are quite nice that's quite edwardian isn't it that pattern and then they've got your normal brick style tiles and subway tile so they've also got these um i don't know what it's called is it called fablon yes it's called fablon and you can stick this down over your countertops if you live in a rental property and you want to change the countertops then we have some cleaning products these are really nice because they're in really aesthetic bottles these would look gorgeous in my laundry room i guess they've got leather cleaner but they're really handy because they are actually usable as well i'm actually looking for a suede protector i wonder if they've got anything like that these make great gifts if you're looking for someone who loves their house like me <laughs> hint hint and then we have some poofs, footstools, or whatever you call them. Very nice. We've got these massive beanie bags as well. 
not quite ready for anything like that in my house. They've got all these outdoor rugs which are on sale. And then we've got some four plants. So I'm always looking for to add four plants. I, I just think you can't have enough greenery around the house. I'm looking for something like this, but taller grass, like really tall, because I want to play around with the heights. And yeah, that's not tall enough. Uh, that is looks like an alien. And then we've got this little olive tree. It's tiny and it's 25 pounds, you guys. That's so expensive. So you know them cushions that I bought, the little square green ones, that's it there. They have them in all these different colours and they're only £5. Now bear in mind they've not got feather inserts but they're still affordable and the, the, the knit is really nice on these. Are they still £5? Anyway, they've got all these different colours so if you're looking to um, add some cushions to your house or your bed or anything like that, these are really affordable. Also, I wanted to show you this. These are the covers I'm interested in to cover up that awful silver sofa that I've got for temporary. So they're £45 and they're, they stretch and they're just like sofa covers and it's in this gorgeous tightly spun boucle and it's really nice, isn't it? They've got some uh, gorgeous little cushions as well, scatter cushions. So I'm looking for a knitted throw or a throw of some kind. It's 50 quid that and I think it's going to get pulled because obviously we've got Ralphie but if you've not got pets, this one's gorgeous. I love it, especially in the green. Oh my god, that green is gorgeous. They've also got this knitted throw as well in the grey, £35. And then I'm actually looking for some draft excluders for that porch because it needs redoing the whole porch and it's getting quite cold, isn't it? So these are £14 green velvet ones and then these are also £14 as well. We've got Winnie the Pooh. I think I saw these last time we came to Dunelm, but what a gorgeous little range that Winnie the Pooh is. It's all kitchen stuff though, but they've got the cups and saucers. They're really sweet, aren't they? If anybody loves like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, this is a good gift idea, you guys. Bar tools set. I would love something like this for Christmas. Then we've got this. I saw this last time, the Curious Bartender. So this is the alchemy of cocktails. So I'm hoping to include a bar somewhere in the house. Not sure where, but we'll figure it out. These are gorgeous. Look at these leaf placemats. Absolutely stunning. And then these. I am looking for a set of vintage teacups with saucers. Something a bit like this, but with the matching saucers. That's what I would absolutely love. And then they've got these little teacups. I love the shape of them. They're not too large either. And they're ribbed and they're very minimalistic. And they're only £1.50. Oh my God, beautiful and affordable. If you're looking to swap out your cups, I would definitely, definitely get some of these. Oh my God, look at these cheese knife sets. I love anything like this. So this is £12. It's in the gold as well. These are so posh. Oh my God, I love those. And then we've got these glass charger plates for £10 each. And they've got a gold trim. These are gorgeous underneath your tableware, especially at that time of year, you know, the C word again. We've got these ribbed wine glasses. These are really good quality. You know the ones I got from Asda, the ribbed ones? We've only got two of them left. We bought a set of four and we've only got two left. They're so thin and breakable. These are very heavy quality ones. So yeah, if you're looking for some ribbed wine glasses, get yourselves into Dunelm. And then here, I've not seen these before, I don't think. These are quite pretty. They're very vintage looking. If you're looking to add that vintage touch to your kitchen, these are a gorgeous set to have. And then these are nice as well. I don't think I've seen these. So these are just plain ceramic, white, but they've just got a gold trim around them. Very understated, very classy. So these ones I'm into. I've actually got a set of these. Now you can buy the full set, which is here. I bought mine separately because I want to mix up the colors a little bit. So you can buy 
it in this cream color everything's like irregular and i just love it it's like rustic really rustic and they do it in this sage green as well so they've got cream and sage green and i'm actually looking for some cereal bowls so um yeah i might get the sage green cereal bowls so you know the snug downstairs i'm looking for a, co a little corner suite maybe something like this so it's in a leather i'm sure it's in a four leather so it is 999 pound this one they've got it in all these different configurations as well these are really good you guys if you're looking to build a boot room of some sort if you've got a cupboard under the stairs these will fit in absolutely gorgeous or so just a sectional on your wall and you can create a boot room with these so these are the lucy collection and then i've never seen this before so this is 279 oh wow so it's not wood it looks like gray wood they've actually created a wood grain with the brush then they've just painted it on like the wood grain and that's what i did with the fireplace downstairs in the snug i just created that oak effect with wax and a brush that's beautiful isn't it So that's the Clara collection. So we're in the rug section and I am looking for a rug for both the family room, you know, where we're gonna have the sofa and the coffee table. And I'm looking for a traditional rug like these ones. This is really nice, it's blue, but it's like vintage denim blue, stunning. Okay, we're in the mirror section and I have got my eye out now for a mirror for above the sink in the cloakroom downstairs. I've got something in specific in mind. So I'm just gonna scan this area and see if there's anything that sticks out to me like this one. Oh, that's nice. It's very vintage, but it's very art deco. I don't think um, it's my style. And then we've got this one, but it's silver and it's very, very thin. So I don't think that will work. Well, it would work and I could paint it, but no, I don't, it's not what I'm after. So I think it's time you guys to stop for a coffee. I have never been in Dunelm um, cafe before. So let's see what they've got. They've got toasties, mozzarella, pesto and tomato toastie. Cause it's a full day out you guys here at Dunelm isn't it oh tuna melt panini i have not had one of them for years they've even got the festive ones this is brie cranberry and brie oh my god it's six pounds for a toasty <laughs> oh they just slap the c word on things and then slap another five pounds extra on don't they oh look at these cakes it is nearly lunch time you know oh maybe we just need you know a little sweet pick me up a little treat while we're walking around shopping it's hungry work so this is the menu butterscotch latte chai latte and then oh spotted we've got this bakewell cake so i got a butterscotch latte you guys and i did get a slice of bakewell cake as well you'll have saw that on my instagram and i've just been watching the world go by so we're on our way out and on our way out this is where all of the foliage is so i'm just gonna have a look at what kind of foliage they've got in now it's like in season this is quite nice i don't like the leaves but we could take them off the leaves look fake i know it's fake but so that's flowering laurel and i look at things like this to add in into the garland oh this would be a nice in the garland that is running down the stairs for christmas it's like hanging bush vine and it's like all the browns oh i quite like that you know but are we going to do evergreen i think we're going to need to do evergreen because the tree is going to be there as well and that's like an evergreen color isn't it oh i don't know i don't know um maybe we need to go to the range next you know and see what they've got in for garlands for christmas i love these thistles these are absolutely stunning they've got a slight tinge of lavender color to them as well which i really love with the greens like together yeah i just love that maybe i should get some of them soon look at that frosted color green with that lavender colored thistle beautiful this is gorgeous look at this horse 
That would look nice in the snug room downstairs, like the gentleman's room. So we've got this little set and we've also got these reed diffusers. Log fire and cashmere. Oh my God, the smells. So we've got lots of gift ideas here. Lots of books, cookbooks, different style cookbooks and broths and meze. Oh my God, Downton Abbey afternoon tea cookbook. That is right up my avenue. <laughs> I love afternoon tea, it's my favorite thing. The Great British Bucket List. That's a really good book to get, isn't it? And then they've got this sushi, sushi serving kit, like hint, hint. Oh, look at this wooden four connect. I don't like the black and white discs though. They've also got this wooden tower. This is called Jenga, isn't it? Drinking Jenga, I suppose. Shot blocks, it's called. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so good at that. 90s film trivia quiz. I might have to get that and take it to my in-laws this year because we're going for Christmas. Oh, this would be good. The What Am I game. That would be a laugh, wouldn't it? They've also got these. So, oh, this is good. £12 for the big six. And it's got the quizzes, charades, kids versus grown-ups, who am I, impossible decisions. And then what's this? Spin the word, and that's £8. The wicked game of words. Mm. So, a bit of a different spin on uh, Scrabble, your traditional old Scrabble, isn't it? We're so competitive as, lot, as a family though. So competitive. What about this? This is five pounds. Make a bad impression. Celebrities. I think you've got to imp impersonate celebrities, I think, on that one. Oh my God, throwback to the 90s. Who remembers these? Like lamps that have bubbles in them. <laughs> and they've also got, this is a great gift. 16 pounds for snooker, tabletop snooker. And we're back from Dunelm. So, what did you guys think? Some wonderful things in store. But like I said, I have a specific list of things in mind that I need next. And I just didn't get the bowls. I nearly got the Amalfi Collection Sage Green Bowls, but I decided not to. I know they've got that collection all the time, so we can go back. But what just flashed in that other room? Oh my God. Guys, I didn't want to say anything right, but um, I know it's, I didn't want to say anything because I know it's spooky season and I didn't want you guys to think, oh my God, I roll in. She's just saying this because it's October. Like, there's no way I would say things like this for nothing. If you know me personally, you'll know that I just don't lie. There's no way I would lie. But, um, this, <laughs> I don't know what to say this. Oh, I, <sighs> I'm gonna, I've got something to tell you. Just stay tuned and I'll do a little video next, I think, on this and we'll have a little chat. What is flashing out there? Anyway, stay tuned. I've got a little bit of a spooky story with the house, basically. Stay tuned to the next video and I will talk to you about it then. Back to Dunelm. Yeah, I didn't get the bowls. Um, I was also looking for, I know we shouldn't talk about the C word, but I am looking for garlands for the stairs, my staircase, because I am starting to plan. I do plan my Christmas tree early. Like, I don't put it up early. I plan what it's gonna look like, especially in this room, because it's like renovation room. Anyway, I'm looking for garlands, and I think I might need a few. So I'm trying to get in there early so I can make sure I've got a good choice to choose from. I wasn't overly impressed with Dunnell. So I think we're going to go to the range next. So we will film a separate video in the range, a shop with me video. And um, oh, we haven't been to HomeSense either for a while, have we? Oh, HomeSense. Guys, leave it in the comments. Which one do you want to see next? Do you want to see HomeSense or do you want to see um, the range? And also, can I just say, when I sat down to have my coffee and cake, I would never normally do that and go to a cafe on my own or for a coffee date on my own. I just would never do that. And I've got no bloody friends to go out with most of the time. So I'm a bit of a loner, not gonna lie. I might do a separate video on why I've got no friends. <laughs> 
and we'll go through a few reasons because I know there's loads of people out there like me and it's a shame that we all don't know one another so we can make friends and make our own little girl gangs but you know but yeah I would never normally go and sit and have like lunch with myself or anything like that I would take myself off to the cinema and maybe I should do more things with myself just me I might go to Manchester on my own you guys and go shopping at Selfridges because like every time I ask someone there are, anyway we'll not get into it but I went and sat in the cafe and had a coffee and a piece of cake and I know that sounds really like what so what but to me that's like a massive big deal anyway I posted it on my Instagram my little coffee and cake and I said when you've got no friends and you take yourself out for coffee and cake but so many of you messaged me on Instagram saying well where do you live I'll come for a coffee and cake with you I just got so many messages off of you guys and I just thought wow like this community we've got here is just amazing i appreciate you all so much when i say i have no friends i tell a lie i've got thousands of friends online you're all just absolutely wonderful i honestly couldn't choose better friends and i'm not joking when i say that anyway before we start shedding a tear or two i'm gonna leave this video here you guys i think it's really really long already and we've got a memory problem remember so um i will see you hopefully in my next video what's next oh i'll tell you the spooky story in the next video so if you haven't subscribed make sure you do the button is down below somewhere and i'll see you in the next one bye guys